I did it, I did it, I did it. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Mark and today we're gonna work on the Ferrari and we're gonna continue work on the front suspension. Now I started cleaning it up because it was very, very dirty. And look at the light I found. It gave me a lot of nice things. But the downside is that I discovered that my complete suspension was red from the overspray. So the past two hours I've been clay barring my own suspension just because there's something that I don't like about this one. Okay, check. Now what we're gonna do today, we're gonna try again to get the steering rod replaced. One hour max, and if it doesn't work, then I quit. Gus has to do it. At the same time, we're gonna create or clean these two, get them painted and get them back on the car on this side. And well, you see here the blower, it's not connected yet. We're gonna keep that one not connected yet. We're gonna do that afterwards. Same as this, I, I clay barred it. I'm not really happy with the final result, but there is a point that we ha just have to say, for, okay, enough, we have to continue back to work. So that's the plan for today, for this video. And hopefully we can do the same on the other side. <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. <laughs> Look at what we have here. We got a... La 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 la. Da, da. Go gadget, go. Inspector gadget. Do, 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 do. Woo -hoo. Ah, triumph, finally. This is good. And well, uh, it took me a while. Uh, here it is. And here's a new one. So we're gonna put this one up. And first what we're gonna do is this bolt. Uh, where is it? Yes. Uh, oh. Wait. That's better. This bolt was also very, very, very stuck. Um, I tr first tried to remove it all, but I think what I... Oh, I'm so stupid. I think I did it wrong. Never mind. Don't tell mom. Uh, we got it loose. I'm going to try to get this bolt a little bit loosened because they need to adjust it. And when it's loose, then, well, it's a little bit easier. And also, wait. Here you can probably see the overspray on my beautiful black uh, interior parts. Kind of annoying because I spent so much time and money on the... And of course you can't cover it all by painting, but... How, if you know, if you, I am I'm an amateur, I said it many, many times these last few weeks to make sure that you don't sue me or something. But Mr. Pros, if you are watching this and you can bear watching my silliness, What's the normal steps you go through? Because I figured get the car. Uh, disassembled and then make sure the body is okay. Put the things back on, get it painted and put the thing back together. But somehow I feel it would, it would have been better if I put the suspension back on after paint. But then if you find, okay, professionals, tell me, what's the proper stepping plan for us, for our viewers, for next time they are gonna do a car or next car that I'm gonna do. I'm just wondering. For now, uh, let's finish this one up.
We got the steering rod on and we got the paint done. That's a good thing. Uh, currently working on this plate. Uh, I have to admit, oh, it's outside, but it's completely gone. It's aluminium and it's been oxidated, corroded. It had a tar uh, layer on it. I removed that. Got as much corrosion gone as possible, and I painted it black with anti uh, gravel paint. Um, that way, I can put it on just for now because, of course, a lot of jobs is going to be going to happen in the future. I figured, well, I might as well just finish this one up, get it all in place, working properly, and when the car has a, a is legal again to go on the road in the winter time i can take it all apart clean it properly restore the plate because i think that plate needs to be replaced also wondering how i'm how it's going to fit for this so maybe i can't even put it back on but i uh, also need some clips oh, so many things that we need and we need to do <sighs> okay but for now i'm going to take a coffee break Two hours later. The first plate is in and it fits. I don't know how, but it fits. I have to check it, of course, if the fan still uh, doesn't uh, touch uh, this. But, of course, this we're, we're, we're going to take this one apart when the car gets back from gas. So I'm now waiting to, for this part to dry. Uh, one hour waiting. One hour of waiting time, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna finish it all up, put the plate back in, put the wheel back on, and I promise you, with a GoPro video or time lapse video. And then we're gonna finish it up, wrapping up this side of the uh, of the car, and after that we're gonna do the other side. But I'm not gonna bore you with the same type of video. I think I did that about 60 videos long. This is a <laughs> surprise. This is video number 60 <laughs> of the renovation. Hmm. Restoration. Okay. Um, yeah. My oh my oh my, every time it's a little bit hard, but here's the finished product. Looks pretty okay, doesn't it? So outside there are some pieces drying for that side. Um, like I said, I'm not going to bother you with that side. It will be an easy peasy thingy unless something goes wrong and that's quite, quite likely, okay. But with that bombshell, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, spread, like, subscribe, spread the word, and thank you for watching. See you again next time. Make it bye. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna finish with a little time lapse of cleaning and putting the wheel back on, just so you know.